Hello, in this video we are gonna see how we can better secure a cloud panel and hosting panel that can help us host multiple websites on a VPS. I have created a video already with how you can set up cloud panel. I will let a link in the description. In this video we are gonna see how we can have a better security for our cloud panel installation. So we don't risk losing our data that we're hosting on the, on the VPS. I've written an article in here with all of these things that we're gonna discuss in, in this video. So let's get started and see how we can better protect our Cloud Panel installation. The first thing that uh, needs to be done is to use a SSH key when we try to access the, to access the VPS. So basically when we create a VPS with uh, various cloud providers, we have an option to put a password for the root user or to add a SSH key. We should add an SSH key every time when we, uh, uh, when we create a VPS solution because it's more secure than a password. We can create a SSH key in two ways with putigen in, uh, in Windows and in Mac or Linux, you can run this command and create your key and insert it when you know the VPS it's it's created. In Hasner you have like the key in here and you just uh, add your key in, in this key section and when you create the VPS you have the options just to choose it from from here. So yeah that would be the first uh, and easy way to do the security. The next thing that we should do in Cloud Panel is to add a certificate to our administration area. So first time when uh, Cloud Panel is installed, we access the Cloud Panel via the IP address of the VPS and uh, the 8443 port. So right now, if we copy this and we uh, put this in, in here and we do 8443, we should have access to the administration area. I see right now it's uh, it's not open for this, but uh, like this you, you access it and uh, you should uh, go into the administration. In here, in the, if we open this, you have this admin area in here and we go to the settings and in here we add our uh, custom subdomain so in every time when we connect to the cloud panel we'll do it over https so we don't uh, risk any security security problems this will be the, the second way in the video that i've created before with the setup i already done that you can check also that to, to see how you can set up your dns for this if you want okay next Thing that we can do to secure our uh, cloud panel installation is to close the 22 port and 8443 port so basically after we put a subdomain to access our administration area we don't need a 8443 port to, to be open and uh, for the 22 port we uh, we could only restrict the access to to the ip address that we have so in cloud panel in uh, this area in security under still under admin you have here the firewall and in here you have some some ports so for instance right now um, i have everything that is created by default in here so the connectivity to the 8443 port and the 22 port it's allowed so let's do a test for instance if right now we're trying to connect over ssh we can do that with no problem. So what we can do, because maybe we don't need to connect every day to, to the VPS, we only need to access it sometimes, we can uh, we can close the, this port or only let our IP to, to access it. First, let me delete this from there so you can see without any role, rules what is happening. And then uh, I can add my IP to, to the list, so the port 22 
to be accessible only by my IP address that I have from my ISP provider. So right now, if we open again the terminal and do SSH, we should not be able to log in again. You will see here that nothing happens and in about one minute or so, we'll have an error because the firewall will not let us log in to the, to the, to the VPS. But the other connectivity are working. For instance, let me access a site. If it does that come, this is one of the site was there and you see that it's it's up and, uh, and running and uh, uh, this is happening because it uh, uses the 443 port to, to connect. But uh, what we can do is to add a rule, for instance, in here for SSH SFTP, we choose that and we choose the port range is 22 and in here we can put my IP or a custom IP if, if we want and in here it will add the, the allow access only for this IP so if, if we don't uh, have this IP it will not allow you to connect to this uh, to this uh, VPS so right now if we go and uh, do SSH again again we should be able to connect because we had we added the we added our uh, our IP address. Okay, let me exit. You see here the like the administration area. It's okay without the 443 port. Let's see if I still get that nginx error if I try to access it like this. Right now we shouldn't uh, receive anything because it will firewall. It will prevent the access from even going to to nginx so you see that this is just uh, trying to connect and it will not connect because the firewall is stopped so in this way you strain the, strain the rules from your firewall for cloud panel next thing that we need to do is to go and activate the two-factor authentication so for uh, for this uh, for this installation, to do that, you need to go to, let's see where it was, security, it was in under the profile, under security, and in here, you will have the options to activate the two-factor authentication. It will uh, have a, a QR code and uh, you can activate it through Google Authenticator or do. I already done this for this installation to be as secure as I can. So this is very easily, every time when you, will access the administration area, you need to input your code that you have on, on your phone. Next, let's see the five, uh, the five fifth option to, to secure our, uh, in our cloud panel. Another best practice is to have backups. So this is, doesn't actually strengthen the security, but, uh, in case something happens, you need to have backups to be able to restore and uh, have access again to your uh, websites. So that's why I added this in here. This is very important. Uh, every VPS and every application should have up-to-date backups. So in case something happens, to be able to restore uh, the application fast and uh, everyone to have access to it. So. In the Cloud Panel, you can create two types of backups. The first backup is the snapshot one. And uh, if you go in here, uh, you will have under the administration area, you have the, your cloud, cloud provider detail. So for me, it's Hesner. If you have DigitalOcean or Voucher, you will have here the, their name. And uh, you can go in here, you can generate, you can uh, generate an API key and put it here and enable these snapshot creations. So in here, for instance, I've choose to create one one a day. You can go even uh, one per hour if you have like sensitive data. And in here you have the retention period that you keep these uh, snapshots. And then to go into the snapshot area, you see that I already have one here. And this snapshot can be used in your cloud provider to restore. Uh, the VPS in order to uh, create a new create a new one. For instance, if we go into this, if we go to snapshots, in here you have the options to rebuild it or create a new server. 
to it and uh, discuss money in uh, in Hadner you have like this amount per gigabyte so in, if you have like 50 gigabytes of data to uh, that data for your snapshot and you have seven you will pay about for euros a month for dollars so it's not expensive so the second backup that was added quite new it's new in 203 cloud panel i just installed it is to do remote backups with air clone so what this will enable us to do is to go into the backup section and uh, in here you have some providers that you can choose from and uh, back up the files that you that you have so this will only back up the website home directories to be able to back up your database you will need to create some custom scripts that will dump the database in one of the home of these uh, folders so in this way you can also back up the database to these providers or you can configure a custom one for, from the air clone configuration file i will will have a detailed video in the future with with this but in this way you can you can back up the second way your your files to restore it you just need to uh, do the manual thing to uncompress the backup and uh, restore the database if you also backed that up so this involves more manual work to do using remote backup but uh, this uh, is good because it's stored on a local uh, on a remote uh, machine so in case something happened with Hefner you have also these backups remotely and you can access them another security another security thing that you can do is to keep your uh, your uh, OS up to date and uh, to keep your cloud panel up to date before applying any of this you need to create a snapshot so uh, this will uh, the first command it will update all the packages in your vps and afterwards you can restart you can restart it after you need to check to see that everything is okay and nothing uh, it's it's broken there so uh, the second one it will update the cloud panel in case a new version it will appear uh, it will be shown in in here for instance cloud panel in here the version and it will be something with green that uh, to update it and prompt their documentation so right now i have the latest version but with that command you just uh, update the cloud panel to be in the last version just remember to do a snapshot or have a backup of your vps before doing this because this can broke everything it's if something happens there and it's good to have a restore point uh, in case something something happens okay the seventh thing that you can can do is to have an antivirus and a malware scanner so there are a lot of uh, viruses that uh, that are uh, are created lately and uh, it will be good to to have the to have something that uh, will uh, will inst will uh, protect against them so there are two two packages that uh, you will need to to install while while detect it's one of it and claim claim av if we check i'll put also a link in this article for you if we we'll check this you'll see that uh, there are some articles that will help you to install all of these things in here you'll find the documentations for this one and you can check to see what is it, this thing is doing but yeah this will help you help you scan the websites and in case there are viruses or malware there it will send an email to you notifying you i will let a link in the description of how this can be configured because this will require more uh, sysadmin uh, knowledge to do to do that i've i don't have currently this enabled on this cloud panel but i had it in other vps and i use it together with claim av because these two tools work together and uh, they can help you uh, scan for different malware on your websites and 
better protect protect them. Uh, be aware that the scans will add an uh, extra load to your server, so be sure to do some tests before to see that your server has enough resources to to do these these scans. Okay. The eighth thing that you need to do is to add a web application firewall. So um, if you have websites hosted on Cloud Panel, and this is the main scope of Cloud Panel, is the, is the is the, you you should add a uh, web application firewall because there are a lot of attacks that are happening to this internet facing uh, application and. Uh, and web application firewall will protect you against DDoS attacks, cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and the other known vulnerabilities that your web server may have or application. You have some free options to for a web application firewall. It's Cloudflare, one one of it. Uh, I've, I've also created a video with what uh, they are offering for free. I will let the link in the description. On. And uh, there is another premium one, security, that will also do do the job. But uh, yeah, it's it's good to to have a web application firewall configured between uh, your uh, uh, web server and uh, and internet to be more protected. And for instance, uh, Cloud Panel it is having a, a feature for uh, every site that you you have work only with Cloudflare. So for instance, if we go and uh, check our websites, let me go to the list website that I have. And here you will see in the security that uh, will allow only the traffic from Cloudflare. I activated it, but your website needs to be proxy to from through Cloudflare for this to, to work. So yeah, this these are some of the security uh, enhancements that you can do in your cloud panel installation. I hope uh, this video helped you protect better cloud panel. Have a nice day and uh, see you in next video.